time to take the wax off. Just take the knife. And just trying to cut the top layer of the wax off. Now any honey that does go down in there, we'll collect and save that later. We'll strain it out from the wax. Now sometimes there's little bits that are uh, can't get cut from the knife, so you just take this little pick and break off the top. Uncapping tool, I think is what it's called. Okay. And then this goes in. two frames in there as they spin around the honey will come out so here's a frame where the honey has been spun out of one side see it's empty compared to the other side it's still full so now we will flip these around and get the other side so this comb was kind of interesting to me so here is that's normally the capped honey. And then what they did here is they started building comb on top of that capped honey. And I think what the why they did that is the frame next to it didn't have any comb on it. And instead of building comb on the next frame, they took that space and built it on this frame. All the frames are spun out. You can see in the bottom of this, there's all the honey down there. You can see the wax and stuff that's in it. So we are gonna strain the wax out of it and get the pure honey. He's going through the strainer down into the into the bucket nice and pure pure raw honey so here we have the bucket of wax capping so that's the top of the wax comb that we cut off and you can see quite a bit of honey in there so we'll separate that out later and then here we have our bucket of honey We'll weigh it and see how much we got. So I have a chair weight on there for the empty bucket. All right, 31, almost 31 and a half pounds of honey. All right, so we're back at the hive. We're done extracting the honey. Now I'm putting these frames right back into the hive. Let's get one out of here. And since the comb is already built up, all they gotta do is fill it in, fill it in with nectar and make more honey. <laughs> 